Okay, we're back. The last video of this be a pro for at least for the time being anyway. I generally like to uh, do them in batches of five. This is so that uh, I get plenty of time to upload them to YouTube and so I don't fall too far behind. Uh, and also gives me a chance to do other things in real life. Yeah, I'm thinking the next time I get an offensive upgrade, if the ability to upgrade the uh, slap shot is one of them, I may take that option up. I'm going to go back and see how well these guys had done since, uh, well, she was with the Capitals. I'm just going to go back a bit. See, she was called up. shortly before Christmas. So... Shortly after the New Year. Yeah, lost. Three to two. Do nothing. Four to three. Lost, lost, win, win. All right, so while she's been playing all these games of the Washington Capitals, there we see how the Hershey Bears have been doing. Okay. Not that I really care, but it's interesting to know. So now we're playing the Charlotte Checkers. And again, I'm not going to change uniforms because, well, I'm a player. I'm so... Yeah, well... I am supposed to uh, not make those decisions. Players do not make those decisions. They don't dictate to the coaches what jersey they will wear. It's not something that is done. Charlotte versus Hershey. And you can see tonight's game. That's, those are the key players. Shots for, goals for, goals against. Tonight's game. Scratches for, we can see the features. E-A-S-H-L. I might try EASHL probably in the next version of NHL NHL 16 or whatever you know because I will have had a year of experience of playing NHL Plus, it was not really added to the uh, next-gen consoles.
It's a wonderful night for hockey. From far above center ice with Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emmerich. Ray Ferraro is ice side. We'll hear from him shortly. She did 10 goals, 6 assists. Charlotte's confidence is at a sky-high level. Anything they need to do over the last 10 games, they've been able to find it. They need a big goal, they get it. They need a big save, they get it. They've been 180 degrees from their opponent, who has got none of that over their last 10. Ah. Uh, big pad save. Wrong. Oh, he'll pay for that. These they need to fix like that. Another, and they're proving it now. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammates. No, he's not because oh, the fallen man, teammate, teammate is fighting. Both those players got a couple of good shots in, but at the end, it was the biggest one that counted. <sighs> Hershey's got a little bit of swagger going now. Their man's won the fight. The crowd is ecstatic. The Bears have looked like a perfect hockey team over the last 10 games. Whether it's their special teams, their five-on-five -five play, their goaltending, they've had the answer to any question any opponent has put to them. They want to play as aggressively as they can tonight, Doc, because their opponents have really struggled. No, we have not. On the dump to the opposite corner. A giveaway. Wrist shot. Wide, not close that time. Laid on to Alexi. Taken away. Wide of the net. Moves up along the boards. Oh, and here's a three on two. Shoot. He got his pad on it. Rebound. Accidentally blocked. Bullies will take that one. I had him moving up the right wing. Turned on that. Terrific save. Oh, and it's loose. Moves it to the barrier at center ice. I couldn't turn it back up the left the wing. The checkers shift. Terrific pad save. Boy, he got slashed. There'll be a penalty for that. And we get a penalty here. The referee goes drives to the over box. to hand it out. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't do it. Crew to penalty. It's a minor for slashing. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Any time that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. The checkers go on the power play for the very first time. Let's B see if plus. they can capitalize. <laughs> Ahead on that left wing to Volpatti. Hmm. Takes it up near the boards. Got it at the point. Through the neutral zone. Sorry. And they've got a three on two here. Wow, what a glove save. He covers and a face off will follow. Just a remarkably desperate play by the goalkeeper keeps this one out. Sorry. <laughs> She's recoiling here. Chip to Volpatti. Picks it up in his own end. That is one solid keep, and play can continue. He's got that pass at the point. Back near the blue line to Moore. A shot. Picked up in the attacking zone. Let's it fly. That's all it was, a shot. Looks ahead to start something. Up the wing with it now. Did I go in the 
No, I'm still out here. Lifted oh, I'm along here. the other Chris end. Is going to begin the quick road back. Right on his cut, his stick on it. And he holds on. And so we've done this before. You think you've got more time than you do. You turn it over in the defensive zone, and then you hope your goalie bails you out, just like here. A little over seven minutes to be played here in the first. The checkers lead 1-0. Hmm. <laughs> up the same side of the ice. The checkers will start from their own end. Bellamore's just gliding to the bench dock after that huge hit. And here we go. Geometrically to Volpatti. Yeah. With a shot. In on goal and easily handled. Hangs on to that one and he'll see a face-off right near him. Bellamore's been in discomfort since this hit here. Bellamore's gone from the bench. He's back in the dressing room for evaluation. Looks like a wrist or hand injury for sure. C plus. For positioning. I'm not terribly worried about that because that's not been her problem. Clear the puck. Oh, what a job done there to keep the pressure on. Good keep. Offensive zone pickup by Alexi. Nearing the final minute of play. Puck picked up in the neutral zone Lost. by Alexi. Puck held near the point. I didn't even know I had the puck until. Save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Great stick save. Back in his defensive end to get it. Carried through center ice. Flings it. They just well stole it from me. He's got it on his stick. Perfect off that left wing. Cranks a shot. Nice work with the pack. Heads on behind. Could be trouble near the line. Off his pass. Charlotte's forced another turnover in this very close game. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. And that's one. First period has been played. It's a one-nothing game. So far, it's a zero on the scoreboard okay. because of saves like this. He's got a shutout. Hope you're not superstitious. Intermission is next. Keep firing at the net and keep taking the body. No other. Surprise, no. Watch the turnovers. Eddie, we're about to enter the second period here. What did you think of the opening period of our game? The checkers have looked to run into a very hot goaltender. They were the better team in that first period. They can't get down. They can't get discouraged. Continue to shoot the puck and get people to the net. Puck dropped and the clock moving in the second period. He's got that pass. It's on his stick. What a brilliant long pass that was. Wide of the net. Oh, close call there. That stick snapped in half, and he had a wardrobe malfunction. Picks it up in his own end. Blue line control. That one's tipped. Wonderful save on the redirect. And he is reefed. You got to keep your head up there.
He takes that point pass. Wide of the net. Led on to Moore. Controlled by Rask. Gets that return yeah, pass. That's playing a little out of position that time. He's got to do right? better. I hope so, Doc, but he's going to have to answer to somebody. Okay, we're right. Here they go. Surprised with that. The Bears are up on their feet, banging the boards. I don't know that the building's been louder than it is right now. Mm. Over three minutes have passed. It's a one nothing game. The winger reaches in after the center has tied him up. <laughs> the Bears shift from defense to offense. To Cook. Can he generate something? Propelled to Cook. Rister! Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. You need to work on passing. Oh, there you go, girl. Get right in the path of that thing. A shot. Block with the pass. Pitch straight ahead through center. Where are you? Where are you? Many yards gained to Brown. Nicely into the zone. The checkers shift from defense to offense. He can start some danger here. Shooting! Sticked away! It's an onside play. Picked up in the attacking zone. No chance of that puck going in. His stick absolutely shattered. The checkers will start from their own end. Broke it up well with the poke check. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Yeah, I did turn it over deep in the in the defensive end. Just gonna watch that. Pass through center ice. Let's go, Rister. Lightning in that glove. Mm. The Bears prevail again. A shot. Routine save. You're not. Another save. Freezes play. Eleven fifty nine. Left to play, yeah, 924 left to play. Gets that pass, doesn't have to move too much. It's a three on two. How will they defend this? Didn't get through. Perfect pass. 
Full steam up the wing. You're looking lost, girl. Let's it go. Not all saves have to be hard. That one wasn't. Face off. The checkers have been able to get ongoing offense from him for quite some time now. This point streak continues as he's had an excellent game again. Charlotte's been blocking shots over the last few games at a crazy rate. Their <laughs> players lie down to block shots. They get into the shooting lanes to block them standing up. This is something they work on pretty consistently at practice. Looks ahead to start something. He's got that one. You couldn't diagram it better than a chalkboard. Perfect pass. Again, got to work on where the player is going Long cross -ice and pass, not and where the it. player has been. Shoots, paddle to side. Perfect centering pass. Oh, and a great block of the puck. Flings it. I didn't help my teammate. Covered up just to slow things down. The checkers need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a pasta visual. Do nothing to Bull Patty from the right side to the middle, right on his tape. The checkers have forced another turnover, Doc. They've done a real nice job in that category in this close game. Right up the side, cranks one right near the line. Uh, yeah, keep it going. And we get a penalty. The referee to the table, a player to the box. I was, uh, was going to say, I didn't do it. The player who is done for the night, a game misconduct. Elbow. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. I didn't get thrown out. But it is the second period. That's two periods in the book. One more to go, but a rest comes first. Many shots and hits, but this stands out. A player who will not return. We need a break. Keep taking the body, keep firing him at the net. Nice shooting out there. But watch the turnovers. All in all, for her, Bad period. Because that positive feedback came in the first period. This is why she's not out Near there the now. Boards. Gains the zone and looks over his options. No worse feeling as a shooter to be in a perfect position and have your stick break. Hershey's at full strength now and on the power play. Save! Very important if he can clear this puck out. Hammered back down. They never gave up. There might be more coming here, though. Into the end of attack. Let's it go. Not a problem there. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Face Pileski's off. He's had times over the last few games where he's been really quiet. But he's always found a way to get on the score sheet. He's done it again tonight. He is such a dynamic player. He doesn't need many chances to produce. Keep firing them at the net. No, I... Fired him at the net, and I also... Diagonally to Brown. Pick the goal. And he drives on through center. A two-on-two two moving on. He's got that point pass. Waffle ball. Wide. Right on his stick. Can he get it out? Charlotte's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Good distance on that one to Brown. 
Wasn't just waffled, but it was wide. That pass, a great work with the pad. Walking a thin line near the border there. Good attempt. Easy save. Kick save. Outstanding. And cleared. That was a great job. Constantly harassed, but they got it out of there. And so the opponent has to go back. Oh, and that one won't go. My girl. Difficult spot. They need to get a change. They're getting tired and overwhelmed. Carries it up the side. Back in his defensive end to get it. Picks up that pass. What's next? The checkers shift from defense to offense. Shot out. And there's another. Magnificent save. And he'll hold on. Oh, the two shots good shots. He smothers the bottom of the net so well. Gets his legs out two to make Two good shots. Three if you count the teammate. Four. Keep taking the body. Well, I didn't knock him in the next week, but I got enough of him to get the puck away from him. It's almost like he's on autopilot. He's hurt, but he's just trying to finish the shift as he's banged up. It's a three on two as they move in. In the slot. Hershey's recoiling here. Onside. Slid to Cook. Gains the blue line. Corralled by Alexi. Hershey's going to begin the quick road back. Wrist shot. Blockered away. Gets that one on a cross. And that's just another save. Nice job with the pad that time. Takes that pass behind the net, looks out in front to hide that play from behind. Knocked right off the stick. Hershey's got a minor penalty here for interference. What? What did I do? What did I do? His progress in this particular play, you have to allow him the what ability the? to be able to move up the ice. Interference. The checkers have been among the best power plays all season long. I really like the way, guys, they get the puck to the point, and when they shoot it, they have forwards converging off the sides looking for the rebounds. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Right that is the strangest penalty I've ever, I've ever encountered in that situation. I mean, really? And it's cleared out of there. Really? It's recoiling here. Oh, he'll pay for that. Oh, sometimes the hit sounds like a car crash. That was one. Guy full jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. Just over five minutes remaining here in the third. The checkers feeling good about themselves here. Three to nothing. The Unless we come back, I expect a long day in practice. To go the other way. Nicely into the zone. Deflected off the blocker. Using the point. Receives that pass from the other side. Treasure is intense. Who can get it out of there? Charlotte's going to begin the quick road back. Moved along and in. Pat safe. 
And a slashing penalty is forthcoming. Carries it up the wing. Coley to the bench on the delayed call. Extra man is out. Shoots one. Whistle blown. I Play guess they stopped. Ran the into the. End out a penalty. Hershey's minor penalty is for slashing. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. Brandon Seagal. You can just see the confidence when a team is lightning like on the power play, and this one is. They get another chance beginning now. Yep. The game this one is, is over. over. This one, Hershey's it was loss. certain. This game was over a long time ago. Very disappointing. This was effort. certain. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Embrick saying... Good night. Awful, awful, awful. Just one word describes this, that game, awful. Okay guys, I'm going to uh, take a break from playing so they can focus on uploading to YouTube. I will uh, likely be be back a little bit later on to uh, post videos. And I will be, and as I do, I will be back with my uh, Sabres left wing. It's a post game interview. John Muse, shut out your team tonight. Did it feel like the Bears offense wasn't clicking in this one? John Muse was amazing tonight. I think we did our part. He was just too good for us. We are playing horribly right now and are letting our fans down. The coach made some bizarre. It, decisions during the game and that threw us off. We just have to work harder. The fans deserve more from us. Hot goalie or not, we can't be dropping points. This gal is like and she just tells it like it like it is. We are playing horribly right now and are letting our fans down. What a goaltending performance by John Muse tonight. Did he uh, steal the show? Yeah, he was unbelievable. I haven't seen a performance like that in a long time. I'll get that one back. I mean, it's, it told the truth. Offensive points. Slap shot. That's what she needed. Slap shot accuracy. Yeah. That's probably what she needs. The only thing that can be upgraded is strength. Hopefully next time I play her. That will be the thing that. Gets her out of this. You know, this goal scoring funk. 
that she has been in. This is not because of a lack of effort in trying. It's just that she just hasn't been able to put it on, put it in the net. That's part of the reason why she gets sent down. Because it ain't her positioning. I mean, she can improve on that, but... Again, you see the positioning. Your positioning is pretty good right now, and then you generally... Uh, where you, you are generally where you need to be. Keep a closer eye on the coaching feedback during a game to improve your goal, uh, your grade. And the season expectations, well, these are minor league, but still. Even as an enforcer, You know, you know the you know they can't have somebody on the team who is who can't put the puck in the net, no matter who they are. So I'm gonna get out of here after we. Uh, and upload these videos and I will uh, bring up my other be a pro for the next video my not the one that I had not the uh, avalanche player but the other one My Sabres left wing. Because the other two are reasonably... Uh, just about reasonably caught up here. In fact, he's a little behind now. Yeah. So... When we come back, we'll have him playing the Ottawa Senators from Buffalo in the next video. Till then, see you later.